Jaya, the topic for this video is are women superior to men? What do you think? Okay, I know that uh, this question is a little bit of a tease for you because for most of you when you look consciously at being human it might be obvious to you that we are equal. All the races, no matter your age, no matter what your gender is, no matter what your race is, no matter what your sexual preferences are, okay, we are equals. And um, the reason why I'm posting this is simply so that we kind of align ourselves and we realize that we've got the same set of values. I'm not saying that there are no differences, but um, you know, I'm opening the discussion here and it's really a curious discussion because recently I've seen posts online with um, sometimes women trying to prove or demonstrate through science that women are superior to men. They might be more equipped for survival or God knows what, you know, but basically it's trying to use science, genes and so on to prove that women are superior to men. And so, you know, if you take this discourse one step further, you can label that or call it female supremacist. Okay, it's female supremacy. The other way around exists as well. There are countries on this planet, people, human beings, that believe that the male mind, male body, that male human beings are superior to women. That women should not have the same rights as men. Okay, so this whole conversation, um, if we want to go further in our human evolution, what do you think is the winning mindset? What do we need to establish as our core values? One of the arguments from women who believe that, they believe that women are superior to men, is that they might have a greater access to their feelings and emotions, for instance. Or because they give birth to a child, that somehow that makes them superior to men. Okay, my belief is that the birth of a child is the result of two human beings coming together and making love. It's two human beings. It's, it's a co-creation process. Okay, so the fact that the woman is carrying the child for a longer time um, yes, it's an important role. It's a powerful role that the male is not playing. And the male creates sperm and semen, and that semen inseminates. And if you look at the, the creation process, what I believe, and uh, in, uh, in all the different areas, is that the default mindset or the default values that we have to function with is we are one and we are equal. Anything that doesn't state that is gearing us towards conflict, discrimination, um, dissonance, I feel, in our minds. And if you try to rationalize and try to prove to yourself that women are supposed superior to men or that men are superior to women for whatever reason, you will find the arguments to demonstrate that. You will find them. You will try to prove and you will find certain differences or certain things and eventually you will try to make a case. But, you know, if you go, go back to common sense, okay? Go back to this common sense. It's like human being. Human being. This is, this is it. This is, you know, the declaration of the human rights. <laughs> is this. Is that all human beings are born equal. And so creating this gender discrimination or this gender supremacy, in my opinion, goes completely against 
what is going to empower us as a human race. And again, I'm not saying that there are no differences, okay? But that doesn't justify creating this difference in scale or in importance. Once we start going into discrimination and any form of supremacism, supremacist theory, whether it's Caucasian beings superior to other races or based on sexual preferences or based on age or based on gender, for me, it comes back to the same game. It means that the game that is trying to prove that certain human beings are superior to others is, in my opinion, a mindset or a belief that is gearing us towards separation, dissonance, conflict, friction, arguments. <laughs> We are one, we are equal. For me, this is the, the value that I, you know, that I embody and that I want to transmit. If I have one thing to transmit in this video, this is it. This is the, 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 the core value that is alive inside of me. So I would like you to do a quick check-in, okay, inside of you. If you're a woman and you're engaged in any form of activity, is the female supremacist mindset either in a light way or distant way or completely present in your field is this idea alive in you and if it is i'm not here to judge you okay you choose your values you are entitled to have whatever belief you want but if your discourse is um, very often male blaming, for instance, then go back to the source. What is it that is really being said? Are you saying that from a biological perspective or life skill, whatever, that women are somehow superior to men? Are you having a female supremacist discourse okay and the same the other way around if you are a man and deep inside you feel like women should not allow to be driving a car they should not allow to be educated they should not be allowed to have high-ranking positions in politics or businesses that they should be locked to create safety for the patriarchy or anything, any thought that is even remotely associated with his beliefs. Just take a moment to pause, okay? Take a moment to, to acknowledge if this is the case. Are you, co are you talking about male supremacy? And if this is what is alive, again, I'm not here to judge you. I'm not here to, to force my beliefs in you. I'm here just to bring all that to the awareness so that we know, we understand the forces that are driving our choices and our actions. If you are female shaming on a constant base or female blaming, then where does that come from? Again, check it out, take a moment to pause and just witness what this is about. And what I would like to invite you to do is simply consider if you are either kind of flirting with the idea of female supremacy or the idea of male supremacy, what I invite you to do is simply take a moment, take a moment to just Consider the mindset we are 
equal. We are equal. All races, all genders, all ages. All humans are born equal. How does that feel in your system? We are equal. How does it feel when you experience that? So if you're already there, you know, like probably, probably 80, 90% of the people who are watching this video might be, yeah, that's my belief. It's already there. For those of you who are not yet there or not yet considering that as their truth, all I invite you to do is just take a step, step forward and just embody it just for like 30 seconds a minute. Repeat to yourself or try to say it. We are equal. That's it. It's a very simple thing, a very simple practice. How does that feel? Let me know. Post in the comments. Again, this is an open discussion. It's not an argument. I'm not here to, to force my beliefs on you. And uh, I'm not here to be <laughs> convinced either of the opposite, no matter how much science you will give me. <laughs> okay. We are equal. How does that resonate in you? And if this truth is anchored inside of you, do you notice around you um, people who might have a supremacy discourse, gender supremacy discourse? How does that feel? How does that impact you? Does that feel like creates tension? You know, what is the, the solution? And um, yeah, I'm really curious about your experience on that specific topic. I know that it's a very, you know, sensitive one for many people. Right now we are, you know, kind of trying to align ourselves still as a human race, even after the declaration of the human rights, there is still lots of discrimination and lots of supremacy discourses on, on this planet. So what's the way forward? Maybe it's just as simple as that. We are born equal. We are equal. I love you.